Now, six months after the deadly Richmond Hill explosion, some of the victims have left and brought houses other, bought houses elsewhere. But tonight, we meet a woman who is proudly rebuilding from the ground up, committed to her community. She gave our Drew Smith an exclusive look at her new home. Drew. Well, as you can see behind me, the house is not even done. In fact, right now, Vicki Kerner's house is nothing but a shell. But spend a little time with Vicki and you quickly learn that there's nothing that will be able to shake the foundation of this new house. I'm not letting that tragedy or that, you know, circumstance define my life. You can either mull around in it and woe is me, or you can just pull up your straps and say, you know, we're moving forward. And moving forward, she is. This is all kitchen, and this will be columns and archway. Coming into the kitchen, okay. there'll be an eight foot island across here. Her enthusiasm with this new house is obvious. The front door was my, one of my inspirations, and there'll be another door here like the front door. Doors that will open to a new home and a new beginning following that horrific night in November last year. Does it keep you up at night? No, it doesn't keep me up at night. Because, You're sleeping okay? Yeah, I'm sleeping fine. And, and again, when I tell the story, which I do a lot, um, is it helpful to tell the story? It is. It, it's very helpful. Um, but my words have always been, I, I still feel very blessed, very thankful, because there could have been a lot more people, you know, that perished. Others have moved away. But for Vicki, the good she witnessed on that evil night is the foundation for her decision to stay right here and start again. That particular night, there were neighbors, you know, coming out, risking their lives brother neighbors before the firefighters even got here. There will be new custom cabinets, granite countertops. This could be a second master suite. A new house, a new beginning, a place where old can become new again. The old house, we had a ping pong table set up and the kids from the neighborhood would come over, knock on the front door, head to the basement, play their game, take off. Next night, come back, knock on the door. <laughs> they had an ongoing tournament for weeks and weeks. So we're, we'll, start the, the we'll start the tradition again. <laughs> Vicki knows that there's a lot more work to be done here, but she's hoping that the house will be completed by this sometime midsummer, and she hopes to move in sometime in July. And oh, yes, there will be a housewarming party when she moves in. Live on the South Side, Drew Smith, RTV6. Good to see Vicki is moving on with her life. Uh, Drew, thanks.